My name is Dan Kim Lian. I used to run a big insurance company. Uh, now, Dr. Atali, I like your analysis about uh, the cause of this crisis uh, and all the other events uh, which I agree. I must have read your 56 books telepathically. Uh, now, the, you said that the crisis is a global market with no rule of law. And uh, uh, we've seen uh, what happened after that. Now, my question to you is, uh, uh, if we carry on like this, I agree that uh, there is no solution. Things will get worse. Already, already we are seeing American dollars causing asset bubbles in Asia. So uh, if uh, there's going to be a solution, there must be only two possible solutions. Uh, one is a global government managing a global market, which I think is impossible. Uh, the second will be uh, the uh, democracy in different countries, but with more protected economy. Uh, that, that means a less globalized economy. I'm not talking about total protectionism, but I'm seeing that a trend towards a more protected economy. I believe that America will solve its problem through some form of protectionism and Europe as well. So my question to you is, do you see this as a possible trend? And then the next question is, uh, what is the impact of a more protected world to a country like Singapore, which is very small and which benefited from globalization? Yes, uh, you're right to say these are avenues of the future. Um, globalization is uh, clearly uh, linking to uh, the need of a global government. And actually, it's the subject of my next book that I'm just finishing now. Uh, I, I do not exclude the fact that in the next 50 years, we'll have a global government. Will it be a government with a ministry of foreign affairs? dealing with Martians or whatever? <laughs> uh, uh, or will it be a, another kind of uh, networks? But we'll have, uh, we certainly will have that. Uh, the other way will be either uh, disorder. There is an example of a, of a country without government, only one in the world, which is Somalia. And uh, we are in a period of Somalization of the world. Uh, which is a, a very interesting uh, uh, metaphor where the world is going. Will we have the, the pos possibility of uh, uh, integrated, protected uh, areas? Yes, it is a, it is a possibility. Uh, actually, uh, it, it has been the only, I would say, relative success uh, of uh, international policy to avoid that in the last uh, three years to avoid it, at least to avoid it in, in speeches, uh, not in actions. We have seen protectionism coming in the US. We see beginning of protectionism in terms of uh, capital control, Indonesia, Brazil, Brazil and, and other countries. And if the quantitative easing is going on uh, uh, with its consequences on Brazil and China and elsewhere, protectionism will come. I'm clear, uh, this will come. Consequences will be a disaster. Uh, uh, this is the route to war, uh, because uh, actually what prevents uh, uh, disasters in the world today is the fact that uh, we have growth. Uh, American economy is 3%, American European economy is 1%, uh, the rest of the world globally is 4%, we have growth. If we begin to have protectionism, capital control, I, don't, I wouldn't bet on growth. And if I don't bet on growth, and if we have inflation, then what we see today in uh, Tunisia, Algeria, uh, will be everywhere around the world. Uh, and that, uh, that is a danger. But that, is, uh, that has happened many times in mankind history. Uh, we should not discard that, uh, that, that risk. Uh, I, I want to be optimistic at the end of a speech, but let me say something about a non-optimistic uh, dimension. Don't forget that we have already seen a period such like that. Huge technical innovation, uh, globalization. Uh, it was at the beginning of the 20th century. Huge progress, enormous. 
And everybody was betting that the 20th, 20th century will be a, a century of progress, opening, etc. Crisis in 907, which actually is exactly the same kind of crisis that we're in, Babel, etc. Terrorism, it was called nihilism at that time. And what happened, as you know, seven years later, war. Uh, and an ideology that was totally unknown in 907 <coughs> took office took power, uh, communism, fascism, nazism. And we went out of that uh, in 89. Uh, 80 years of parenthesis uh, of, uh, in a world of going on globalization. I don't say that we, we have that risk. I say that we should be eye open about those ideologies that are seems to us childish and uh, innocuous and uh, be open to the risk uh, uh, of the fact that the world will not accept the optimist view of globalization. Optimism is always a mistake. Optimism is always a mistake. Uh, uh, on, uh, if it's only optimism, uh, if I may make my best definition of difference between optimism and pessimism. A pessimist says everything is bad, everything is terrible, it can be worse. And the optimistic answer, yes, it can be worse. <laughs> Thank you very much.